Hello and welcome to the Switch Underground. My name is Danny. Today we're going to take a look at Restless Hero. Now this is from the same publishers that brought us uh, Johnny Rocket that we tried a few days ago. There it is. Johnny Rocket was wild. Um, don't think it's the same developer though. Most assuredly not. But uh, let's take a look. This uh, was provided by Restless Corp along with Johnny Rocket to take a look. See what kind of game we're working with here. We got a shop. Oh, are we working with like a, like a roguelike here? We got items, achievements. I think there's a bonus. Oh, are these like daily? Oh, you can claim a bonus every five minutes. That's kind of cool. Those look like potions. Okay, so we've got... A guy here with some black things behind him. Oh, it looks like a bunch of levels. Choose a power up. Restore health, destruction, or invulnerability. I think we'll do restore health. The Middle Ages, the year is 1485. There's a chicken. Oh, this is cute. Mr. August. Good morning, my dear Rose. Gorgeous as always. Rosa. Good morning, Mr. August. I'm cooking a special dinner for my husband. We have an anniversary today, and I need your freshest tomatoes and some spices. Sure, darling. God bless you and your family. All right. So, I don't know anything about this game. I think it said something about it being some sort of dungeon-y thing. We'll see. This looks like a vampire. Is this the husband? Could have used some music here, bros. Not gonna lie. Rick, you came back earlier. Uh-oh. Were you expecting the mailman? Hello, darling. Yes, it was a lucky hunt yesterday, and I decided that these earnings will be enough for the next two to three days. I hope you didn't go too far from the town. I told you how dangerous it can be. No, no, no. Don't worry, sweetheart. There are so many boars these days that they almost run out of the woods straight under the shot. How were you doing while I was off? Not bad. Thought it, though it seems like that old man on the market has was flirting with me again. Maybe it's because I lost my wedding ring. You lost the ring? You aren't mad, are you? No, of course not. I'll buy you a new one. To hell with it. Listen, this town gets filthier year by year. We better spend the money until winter, until the... We better spend the money until the winter came. Okay. Why? What happened? I thought you liked it here. I used to. It was a lean year, and more and more people came to the town. Did you notice how our relationships with the neighbors have changed? People are ready to gulp each other. Well, we have never been real friends with the neighbors. You are exaggerating. Exaggerating? How many people were burnt by the Inquisition for the past week? Three. Remember Lily? Her neighbor wrote a delation note. She was seen brewing a potion in the on the kitchen. What a nonsense. Wow, what kind of English are we working with here? Lily? She didn't look like a witch. Because she wasn't one stupid. They torture and burn everyone. Oh god, okay. Let's calm down. Uh-oh. The Inquisition's here. Wow, I didn't know they were actually here. Bishop Celestine. Celestine? This way it would be warmer in winter, sweetie. Okay. Oh no, I knew this will happen. This bitch denounced me too. Oh no. You knew you are saying. Then you are a witch indeed. Get her! Rick, what the hell's going on here? The witness claims that Rosaline Tate was convi convicted. Of sorcery and heresy, we are obliged to execute the law. Nonsense. Bullshit. How dare you break into my house? Wow, Rosa is like, whoa, shut up, witch, and walk. Don't you dare talk to my wife like that. Let her go. She's not exactly. Take this one, too, in case she bewitched him. He, 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 he. Rick straight up looks like a vampire dog. I ain't gonna lie. Maybe he's a vampire. And who are we, the restless hero? Well, that was an aggressive start. Oh, God. May the Lord forgive your sinful soul. 
Sound effects, don't need them. With that belly jiggle though, that was lit. Am I dead? What is happening? Do you hear me? Where, where, where am I? Stranger. Oh, you might have seen this ugly castle from outside, if you are from the town. It was built by a famous master of torture, Count Jean de Osteen, 97 years ago. Well, that is v oddly specific for a cat. Uh, you know, I guess 97 years, 97 years. We're deep in this dungeon. What happened? I was stroke with a spear. Am I dead? Everything is fine now. The wound is almost healed, but you must get out of here. Who are you? How do I heal so fast? How did I heal so fast? Did you conjure me? What happened with my wife? Yes, I'm a bit familiar with magic. It served you well, didn't it? Now listen, Count Dio Diostein conducted terrible experiments on people. These catacombs are f full with traps and all of them are still working. 97 years of traps, dude. He wouldn't be a master otherwise. Why did they take my wife? Do you know something? We will talk about her later, but I must go now. A lot of deaths have happened here. I don't touch those fa Don't touch those who found no peace. Okay, wait. You can climb the wall. You can climb the wall up. Okay, so when I jump, I jump forward. I don't jump straight up. That's challenging. Push Y to use my superpower. Okay, it does nothing. Okay, so there's a spider, a rat. So I can do nothing but jump. Okay, that hurt a little bit, but I'm alright. Oh, did I just use my superpower, which gave me a heart back? Wow, nice. So does this rat hurt? Nope. Um, so you can climb the wall. Ooh, okay, I like that. Music got a little loud. That's okay. Checkpoint reached. Hey, there she is, dude. Hey. Find two chests on each level. Alright. Got my gold bars, dude. Lightning bolt. How am I gonna get through that without getting schwacked? That's like impossible. You can use spells to upgrade your powers. Alright. How do I... How do I... I saw... Okay. So I found the three potions. Now I can go to this next level. Choose your power up. Uh, permanently destroy one enemy or obstacle. Get a temporary shield to protect you from the enemy. But it costs potions, right? I think we're going to stay with the restore the health. Be careful, Rose is counting on you. Dude, this sounds like the music from American Truck Simulator the, during the menu, dude. <laughs> There's a flag, okay. I mean, mechanics, pretty simple. Jump, that's it. And you have some powers. So if I use this, I can't use my power yet, but I just have to avoid the ghosts, hit the checkpoints. The rats don't hurt, skelly boy don't hurt. How come I can't grab that heart, dude? That's kind of kind of sus, as they say in the Among Us community. I kind of like this music, though. Though it does feel weird that I'm not able to grab any of this stuff. So, we are the restless hero. The man that jumps. There's a spider. He doesn't hurt either. So we can... Literally do nothing but jump. I hope everybody's having a good day today, man. We've been checking out some indies this week. Uh, Fight Crab. Johnny Rocket. And now... The hero that needs sleep. I do wish I could do stuff. Oh man, their MIDI game is on point. 
You know, the other day I was looking at, um, when I started with, uh, using computers and, okay, dude, computers and stuff, my very first machine was an old, uh, 286, which I think ran at the bright, bright, nice speed of like 25 megahertz. Then we got a 486, which was 66 megahertz. Do not get lost. These tunnels are hard to pass. Sure, dude. And, uh... I used to play a lot of great games on there. All the old school Sierra games and shareware stuff. It was awesome. Windows 3.1. Well, not the first computer. The first computer had no Windows. It was all DOS stuff. Oh, wow. Okay. Why, why, why was I thinking about that? Ooh. I forget. How do I get down there? I want that chest. I don't see an entrance. Can I like go in that thing? Oh, the music was reminding me of it. Cause it's all MIDI. It was good times, man. That's where I learned a lot of stuff. Got a lot of scars on my hands from building machines. Them old school, uh, those old school computers with them super heavy duty ISIS slots, dude. Every card that came out of there, or that you would put inside those machines, was a hand shredding death trap. But they were built pretty sturdy back then. It was good times. Okay, I still don't understand how. Okay, let's resume. I don't understand, like, am I just supposed to just just do this? I remember at the front menu there was a shop, right? So we could buy stuff. Hey, we got to that chest. Man, what was my favorite game from that era? King's Quest VI, 100%. That was the best game, and I still have very fond memories of that game. If that ever came out for the Switch, I would play it immediately. So I guess that's it, man. We're just bouncing around the levels, trying to figure out life. No double jump. Too bad. We will need to go to the main menu to, to see what we need to buy first. That looks dangerous. Potion. Need it. And there's these lightning bolts that I can't seem to do anything with. Careful... Lower the bridge and do not get into the water. Okay. Well, that hurt. Oh. I see. She's gonna shoot your shot. That's fine. Bring it on. Bring it on. I think I found my two gold bars. Did I? That was a close call, dude. Oh, I only found one. I want to go to the... Let's go back to the menu for a minute. Before we get too crazy here. So let's go to the shop. So I can upgrade... Items. Let's upgrade. Restores health by two. Invulnerability. Wow, these are expensive. 30 gold bars to upgrade? Holy cow. So what happens if we go back? Oh, I see. This is where the levels are unlocked. Gotcha. Okay, so last time we went that way, we missed it. We're back to the... Uh, the American Truck Simulator music. There's a ghost. Did I see a chesty boy this way? I did. There it is, dude. That was what we needed. How we can get out of here. Wait, so this bridge looks a little different. I think it's different. Kind of hard to tell. So 
So Trev has me playing this uh, this game right here. Serious Scramblers. Oh my god, dude. It is like... It's, I'm reminded of it from this game because all you do is fall. You can't actually even jump in that game. You're just falling down. Kind of like Downwell, but... Oh, we missed a Potion Boy too. Whatever. Mr. August, what are you doing in this dungeon? I am a travel merchant. I wander in different places, and my clients are not necessarily always alive. Yeah, it's a wonder I'm still alive. This dungeon is full of beasts and traps. It's still weird that I met you here. It's kind of weird. Yeah, let's do that. It is weird. Why? I decided to find a new trade route through the Eagle Mountain Range, and maybe the shortest way goes through this dungeon. My emergence here is not accidental. I didn't even know about this place, but unexpectedly, I met you. I don't know what you're thinking there, Rick. Travel safe. Are you a merchant man? Can you, like, sell me some goods and services? No? Okay. There's most definitely a video game secret up here. There is not a video game secret up there. We tried. Still all these lightning bolts. I'm assuming that has to do with one of the powers, right? Like, the destruction power. So let's get in there. How much are they selling this game for? Let's take a let's take a guess. So Johnny Rocket I felt was about a five dollar title, and when I saw it was on it was it was ten on Steam. I don't know how much it is on the Switch, but this one, depending on how it goes, I think it's about in the same range. I want to say five to eight dollars for this guy. That feels about right to me. I mean, it's not a super huge investment, but and you are getting some game, but I mean, clearly, the art style is pretty good. If they had more mechanics, oh my god, this game could have been amazing. The controls are like super crisp, so they definitely got the components here to build something awesome. But it just doesn't feel like it's gone that full distance, you know? And maybe it's not supposed to. Alright. Okay. Where's that? There it is, dude. Like, could you imagine if this was, like, super mega fast and you had, like, a sword? Or you were an actual vampire? Get out of here. Get here. But, but, I mean, it could surprise you. You never know. So, for Serious Scramblers, my whole mission in that game, let's just try something different, like Destruction, dude. Is to, they have a continue system where you can, like, pay coins that you earn on the way down to, like, because you have to get, like, a certain distance down right before the levels are over but if you die before you get to the bottom you can actually purchase a continue with coins that you've collected but my entire mission ouch has been to oh it's a bomb how do i throw it oh i can just run into stuff okay this chicken looks worried i think it might know something all right what do you know chicken So can I blow up this saw, you think? Oh wow, I can. That's kind of neat, actually. You can just blow up, like, stuff that's bugging you. Well, look who it is. Restore one time of the power-up, get one gold ingot. Ooh. I should definitely buy this. There we go. Can you have multiple superpowers? Maybe. Can I get up there, dude? Alright, I'm not, not gonna try. It's fine. We're going back this way. Yeah, that chicken definitely knew something was something weird. Yeah, this uh, destruction power, way more useful than the heart boy, because the hearts are everywhere. Oh, was that a secret? 
It is a little weird that you can't just open the chests. You gotta, like, hang out. Don't touch the water, dude. It's made of dungeon goo. Ooh, a ring. My wife's wedding ring, which she lost. Amazing. Some story. Thanks for the wedding ring. Dungeon. We don't need to go down there. This music's pretty... Pretty dungeon-y, though. Like I said, man, the controls are so tight. The art style is pretty good. Man, they just needed... So if the Johnny Rocket people needed money, these people need the creative director from Johnny Rocket. And they would have something amazing, no doubt about it. They could go any route. Hardcore, funny, it wouldn't even matter, dude. There's components here. So many good ones. But the, the actual like game loop is like... Okay, but I mean, let's stick it out a little bit. We're gonna stick with our destructive destruction thing here. It's been working out for us. I bet I can blow up that specter too. So my wife and my son are making a. Uh, what are they making? Apple apple muffin thingamajigs. My wife saw this recipe online where you take a can of the pumpkin mix and you use like a spice cake mix, like carrot cake, and you just mix those together and then you make muffins out of them. Like that's it. So, can't really smell anything right now because I'm still kind of sick, but I'm sure they are going to be amazing. Uh oh, speaking of amazing, I need to order Indian food. Indian food. What are we having today? Butter chicken? Bunch of naan? Oh, man. There is nothing better. Indian could be my favorite food. It eclipses Mexican in my eyes lately. Just because it's so flavorful, so rich. And I mean, Mexican food is too, but man, Indian food is just on another level. You get some of that fresh naan, dude. You start dipping it in there. Mm, God, I can feel myself getting fatter. It's so weird. I haven't been able to lose, like, any weight for, like, a long time. I'm starting to feel like maybe there's, like, a medical issue. Like, maybe there's, like, a gallbladder problem or something? I don't know, dude. Something's weird. Because even, like, getting sick, like, this past week... Ever since the whole kidney debacle where I was like bleeding from the junk and stuff every time something like there's like a super body stress it's like an old football injury it just like acts up it's so weird getting old is terrible but I mean most of the time I feel pretty good so I can't really complain a whole lot I also maintain a relatively healthy lifestyle minus the weight I don't eat garbage and I uh I walk quite a bit Oh, not quite a bit, but I try to walk. I eat pretty clean, like I said, and um, I'm not like a heavy drinker or anything. I don't like smoke or anything like that. It's just... That's like the worst part, dying from nothing. But who knows, man? Who knows? Everybody's got something. Some medical ailment, some... Some body oddity that we're all dealing with. That's just that's just how it goes. Okay, now I wish I had them hearts. Oh, how the tables turned on you, buddy. Okay, this level's a little complex. Do I have a map? <gasps> oh no, it kicked me out. I wasn't ready to leave. Wrong button. Let's go. Can I buy anything at the shop right now? That's expensive. Okay. Did I? Did it do it? How come I can't upgrade that? Oh, I did. I just used all of my freaking money. 
what a moron. And the bonus? Oh, wow. So if you play this game for like in five minutes, my voice is like squeaking like I'm in high school. If we play for five minutes, we can come back and collect the bonus. But now we're just like, Psh, what? Eat that. So I can't like sprint, I can't go f Oh no, that's not what I wanted. Put that away. Okay, just hold it. Please don't blow up in my hands. Here, we're just gonna, we're gonna eat that one. That would have been rough if that blew up in my hand. Okay. We're doing okay. Hey, there's the wizard. I think it's the, what do you say? He's the old man, Mr. August. Oh, there was no escaping that. But we know we're on the right path as long as we don't quit out. Let's not be a boob. Alright, I think we clear this one and then we'll call it because I got to uh, order the Indian, like I said. But it usually comes pretty quick. We'll see. I was kind of hoping to like hit like a boss or like a new something maybe at the end of this one something that would really you know give us a good challenge you know I said the word challenge and I was like what game like triggered instantly and the game was um that one game that we played that was awesome uh I can't remember it's the one where there's like all the power-ups and the old folks and stuff and you ran around real fast. Sundered, there we go. Yeah, Sundered was great. I miss that. You know what else I miss? Bioshock. I beat it last weekend. And those episodes are still coming out. But, and I sort of started Bioshock 2 just in the last episode to take a look. So, I mean, this weekend I could start Bioshock 2, but I really want to test out uh, Darkwood. Darkwood and then like there's Halloween Jack coming out dude for like Halloween and stuff but I think Darkwood's supposed to be super spooky oh man so I definitely want to test that might play that tonight actually I need to play more uh, uh what remains of Edith Finch today Okay, that heart's gonna do nothing for me, so let's not even bother. Well, man, I don't see nothing exciting. I have, oh, there's a new spike trap, I guess. That's that's fun. Ba ding. Oh, oh. Uh, if your platformer allows me to jump off of walls infinitely like this, I'm on board. I love that mechanic. You are one double jump away, and maybe some actual weapons from, you know, being the best. But, sadly, no double jump. No weapons. <laughs> Just a lot of skedaddling up the walls, man. God, I hope those muffins are going. I do. Got a land party this weekend, though. I hope this comes out before the land party so I can talk about it later. And we're gonna play uh, some Star Wars Squadrons, man. I love that. That game's been a lot of fun. Our issue is that we have... We have five people in the core, like, little friendy group. And every single damn squad size these days is four. I, I found a chest for you. Use a spring to get on it, okay? Really? Thanks for that spring tutorial. Could have used it before the last six springs. Just saying. It's fine. You know, at least this is pretty peaceful. I'll give it that. Video games up here? Nope. Oh man, I gotta order that food or I'm in trouble. 
So who knows what we'll play. Probably some Overwatch, but I really like Overwatch. Overwatch is kind of like our default. Hey, we're getting hammered. Let's try to get some, some good game wins in, and then everybody gets like super excited about it. It's fun. Land parties are also kind of my like vacation time away from like dad mode. So it's always nice. I look forward to them a lot. They happen a couple times a year. Uh-oh, I'm lost. Am I lost? Okay, so I was up here. Oh, I, I chose a path to go down. Somewhere, two roads diverged in the wood and I took the freaking wrong one. Whatever it was. Okay, so we came up here. I remember this. Oh, there's a checkpoint. Okay, there's another bridge. And then I came this way. Okay. And then she was here. She said she found me a chest. Whatever. Should I try to go up there? Imagine if that was like a secret portal. And then I came back this way. And then what? I'm supposed to go up this way? Yeah, I think we're just, we're just push on, dude. Wait, no, this is... Now we're headed back. Is that where we messed up? Where do we mess up at? There's a checkpoint. No, we're on the, we're on the path, dude. The path that, that rocks, dude. Okay. Okay. These hurt bad. Oh my god, I died. I'm an idiot. Oh, but there's a checkpoint. Well, there you have it. Okay, I feel like I've been here before. Where did I mess up? Here. Here's where I messed up. Because I went over instead of down. Wait. But aren't I going back to the beginning now? I don't even know anymore, man. I don't know, Mr. Frodo. We're lost. We might be lost. Alright, let's just go back this way. Back up here. Okay, so we definitely need to go over here somehow. Okay, so we come up here. Okay, we can't get up that way. Can't get up that way. So what, we're just coming back this way? The place we need to go is like right in there. That's the room. That's the move, as James would say. Or Trevor. They're both awesome individuals. All right, here we go. This is it. The end. Whew, okay, that one was a little tricky. All right, next level, if it's please be a boss or something. Which, ah, there you are. I'm glad you're still alive. Great, I'm glad as well. Now, talk, who are you? It's not important now, I understand you've got a lot of questions, but I can, can't tell you everything now. You won't believe me, not until I have evidence. What evidence? What are you talking about? Someone denounced my wife and accused her of something she hasn't done. If you know something about it, talk. There's something you don't know about your wife. She is not who she pretends to be. <gasps> dun dun dun. What the hell are you saying? How can't I know Rosa? Damn. Come back. We've been... We've been hoodwinked, dude. By the wife. Alright, man. I think that's it for this one. There's a baddie boy. I hope everybody's being safe out there, that you're having a good day, and that, uh, you know, you're being nice to each other, surrounding yourself with good people that you want to be around and interact with. A lot of times it's not within our power to do so, but you'd be surprised how much it actually is. Don't ever feel stuck. There's always a choice. Sometimes they're not fun, happy choices, but there is always a choice. Just like in uh, 
Dangerous Minds, dude, with Michelle Pfeiffer. I love that movie. He's like, she's like, can you must something? He's like, yeah, I must piss right now. And that just always stuck with me. Or like, she wants to take him to the park or whatever. She brings him candy. It was a good movie. Anyway, I'm out of here. You've listened to me prattle on about movies and everything else in my life except this game of which you literally jump and jump some more and avoid saw blades. So it's kind of like an old school episode of Home Improvement. But um, I imagine a lot of you watching this are too young to know what any of that's about. But that's okay. I'm old and the entire and the entire reason this channel exists is to be uh, to immortalize myself in the event of my untimely death for my children. I've been pretty open about that, right? So, uh, kids, if you're watching this and I've perished, don't do the dope. And uh, go watch Home Improvement. Alright. Be good to each other, man. And I will see you guys in the next one. Do take care, really. Let's blow up a saw blade. Oh, yeah, dude. I had to blow up a battle axe. That felt great. Oh, God. I gotta go. Uh, no, Indian stuff. Oh, I'll let you know how it goes. Take care.